Hey, it's Andrew Shackleton here, Kitchener Waterloo's most awesome real estate agent. Today, I want to talk to you about buying a property under uh, Canada's new marijuana laws. Of course, the new laws have been a real, you know, worldwide game changer as far as Canada goes, and it's probably causing people a lot of concern if you're interested in buying and selling a house. The thing is about the marijuana laws is stuff that was criminal back a year ago is still criminal now. And these kind of activities are going to cause problems for somebody purchasing property just like they did before. I'm talking about, you know, grow ops. Grow ops where the police have, you know, done arrests and they've uh, marked it down in the record books as it being a grow op. These kind of properties, it's going to be very, very hard for you to get financing and probably hard to get insurance as well. And this is, you know, for good reason. Uh, criminals don't care about you know, wrecking a property, cutting holes in the walls, stealing hydro, spraying chemicals around. Uh, that's a real risk. If you, you know, were worried about buying a home grow a year ago, you should still be worried about you know, you know, that now. But what about recreational use or medical use? Under our new laws, uh, recreational pot smokers allowed four plants per house, and a medical marijuana holder, they're allowed to grow quite a few more actually, but I wouldn't think it's more than, you know, 25 or so. I looked at the laws as far as how many you can grow if you're sick, and it's, it's kind of convoluted, but somewhere in that ballpark. Anyways, long story short, if you've got a license to grow it or you're a recreational user, there's no crime and you're not going to have a problem getting a mortgage or getting insurance. Criminality? That's a whole other issue. So watch out what you're buying, stay away from home grows, and you should be good. Anyways, that's my story on dope. Thanks for watching.